What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Troop coming to you live and direct from the Battle Troop headquarters. Let's get right off into this. Yeah, it's going down, man. It's going down. Me and Captain Tazariak got a one on one debate. No, it ain't going to be no one on one. I'm going up against everybody in that room with him. Me against the whole movement or whatever they doing on Thursday, 9 o'clock Central. Join me. On my live feed, I don't know what his channel is. I don't know what his channel is. I never really watched it, so I'm sorry. I just cut my camera on. I'm just telling my people, look, it's going down. I'm finna go up against this brother, man. They finna take another loss. Y'all saw how bad I did them last time, right? I want y'all this time to pay attention to the game they're going to try to play. How they're going to try to over talk. He said it's going to be more professional. So, I'm, you know what? I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and hope that it's fair for me and him as we uh, do our debate and we talk and we talk. Um, and with that being said, as we do our debate and talk, um, we're going to get it cracking. Now, we supposed to be debating with Adam and Eve, the first man and lady, and we supposed to be deb debating the um, virgin birth. They don't believe in the virgin birth. They don't believe uh, that Adam and Eve was the first man and woman that was here. So with that being said, man, listen, it's going down, man. Thursday, this Thursday coming up, me and Captain Tazariak and the Hebrew uh, 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 Israelites, man, it's going down. I'm defending the word of God, engaging the enemy like no other. Look, engaging the enemy like no other. And I want them brothers, man, ready, equipped, and ready to go. They need to uh, defend themselves. Now, this last debate I did on them, I kicked they butt. And people, you know, people on their channel going to say they won because that they people, that they guys. That meant if he took a blow, they all took a loss. If he took a blow, they all took a loss. I'm going to play it for y'all, man. Watch out. Watch how I smoke this dude. I'm going to give y'all one topic we've been debating on. Watch how he gets smoked. And watch how he start changing and turning around as I'm just laying it down on him, just breaking him down. Now, he said that Jesus had a corrupted flesh, that Jesus' body was sin. That's what he said, that Jesus' body had sin and it. it was sin. You know what I'm saying? That's not true. If Jesus' body was sin, then his body was unacceptable before God to be offered as a sacrifice. You cannot offer sin to God. Your sacrifice must be without blemish, without blemish. That means it can't be flawed in no type of way. And he going to manipulate and twist the scriptures by saying things like uh, Jesus condemned sin in the flesh. Without even knowing, you proving the argument. If Jesus condemned sin in his flesh, how was his how was his flesh sin? That would mean that sin condemned him in the flesh. But if Jesus was the one that condemned sin in his flesh because of his righteousness, then sin had no boundary on his flesh. Or that would have meant sin condemned him in the flesh. You see the difference? Then he going to use words like this, copy and portrait. A copy is just the imitation of the real thing. So if Jesus was made to be a copy of human beings in like manner or a portrait, the portrait is missing the substance of the real thing. So if Jesus was a man who had flesh and bone, what was the substance in man that was missing from him? That substance that was missing in him that was in man can be no other than sin itself. And with that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. Let's listen to this debate. So you just said what you said, and you and you left it at that as if that's fact. I haven't gave, I haven't been given the chance to debunk what you just said out of your mouth, and I gave you script to the back up that what you saying is not true at all. Because if Eve is the mother, <laughs> hear me out though, bro. Hear me out though. If Eve is the mother. Of all the living, there's no way you can get around that because living is spoken in the sense of her species. The living as in the human being. If Genesis said that Eve is the mother of all the living in the sense of her being a human being, then outside of her don't exist any. So 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 that was back of scripture. Not only that, 
if the Bible also says in Romans chapter 5 that Adam is responsible for the death gene that entered in the world through sex, then that clears up also that there couldn't have been other people outside of Adam, which means they would be free of the death gene. So where are they at? Okay. So now, before, just to clarify something, you said Romans 5, it says that sin came through sex. Sin definitely come. no sex. Sin come through sex because we born and shaped into, leave me out, we born and shaped into iniquity. Psalm chapter 53 that I, that I gave you, but, but hear what I'm saying, bro, hear what I'm saying, because I don't want you to twist up what I'm saying. I am. I am. You, you, you're not letting me speak, brother. What I'm saying is, the Bible says Adam is responsible for sin. Romans chapter 5, he goes on to say, in Adam, all many die. In Adam, many die. In Adam. That's inside of his, his gene, his bloodline. Now, through that, you can only get that through sex. Apart from that, you can't have it. So if there were people here outside of Adam, and all die in Adam, then where are they at then? Because they don't have the death gene. Sex is the reason why we have the sin gene. So when you have sex and I have my children, you're saying that they're sinning because I have sex with my wife? I'm saying when you have, that ain't gonna work on me, them tricks, bro. What I'm telling you is, Psalm 51, no, 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 hear me out, bro. No, hear me out, bro. I'm just gonna give you the scripture, and then you argue with what the scripture says. That scripture don't say that. Okay, well, let's see if it say that. Let's see if they say that. Because if you don't, if you don't argue your point, let me argue my point. Let's see if. That's what I'm asking you. Okay, listen, I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you. This is King David talking, right? In Psalm 51, verses five. This is what he says. Is you, you listening? Behold, behold. Verse 5, Psalm 51, verse 5. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. I was conceived in sin. So when is a child, when is a child born? When not born, when is a child conceived? From, from when you have the sex, right? So if you can see in transgression, transgression, and you shape in iniquity, that's sex. That's sex. And this is why Jesus was born of a virgin without sex. Because he don't have the death gene. But you know Christ was born in sinful flesh as well. Well, that's not true. I'm not agreeing. See? Well, you know Christ was born in sinful flesh as well. Christ was born in sinful flesh. Christ had sinful flesh. You already just said. Keep that in mind because it goes into the debate. If Christ was born in sinful flesh, that would make him a sinner because the flesh is sin. But that's why he was born of the virgin to escape that process. When I just read Psalm 51 verse 5, David clearly said, in sin was I conceived. Children have to be conceived before born through sex. In sin, we are conceived. Through sex, but Jesus was conceived by the Holy Spirit, not sex. He don't have the sin gene that we get as a result of sex because of Adam and Eve sinned against God. So you heard what he said, right? And watch the breakdown. Bring that prescription on back that up. said to be likeness of is to be the same as likeness is not the same likeness is not the same pretty sure y'all smart enough to know that 
To be the same is to be the same. To be in likeness to being a similarity. You have similarities. But again, what don't make it the same is that um, <coughs> that it's not 100 percent. It's not 100 percent on, on uh, 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 from the opposite. It's indifferent. You know what I'm saying? It's an indifferent. It's imperfect. When you like something, that's the similarity of it don't mean you is. He's saying that it's the same thing. When you like something, like if you like something like he eat like a dog, that he actually is a dog. That's how he's speaking. No, it means in similarities of if you like something, that's metaphorical for attachment to an original that you not fully is. No, no. First of all, if he was born in sinful flesh, then he would be a sin. You, you can't use words to make it fit what you wanted to say. If it say he was in likeness, likeness of is not the exact. Just like we made in the likeness and image of God. We not God. We a likeness of the original. I'll, I'll help you out. I'll help you out in first. Hebrews 2 and 16. For verily he took knowledge in the nature of angels, but took on him the seed of Abraham. Right, I am. But the question is, we here because just so the people can know, we here because you 
saying that Jesus had a sinful body, right? Didn't you say that? You want to answer the question? Y'all see him avoiding it? Y'all see him avoiding it? Now watch he tell on himself. Now y'all see him avoiding it. Remember what God has said. He said Jesus had sinful flesh. He was in a sinful body. Now he see he caught up. And I'm breaking him down so crazy he trying to find a way out. Watch him admit what I told him from the beginning now. That he didn't have a sinful flesh. Now watch this. Okay, I'm, I'm right here. Okay, so you going to Romans and I'm going to Hebrews. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, I mean, you can go to Romans too, I don't mind, but Hebrews 2 and 17 is what I want you to read. I'm going to read Romans 8 and 3. Mm -hmm. You ready? Okay, you can go ahead and read Romans. likeness is the same. Then he looked up the definition and he read copy a portrait of. Let me ask you a question. If you have a portrait of the re real thing, is the portrait is the portrait the real thing or the real thing the real thing? If Jesus, if Jesus likeness is considered as being a portrait of, what was the portrait of? The portrait was of a man. Why? Because he was in the form of a man, but he was literally God. So he's in likeness of man. What was missing from him that man had that he didn't have that didn't make him the same as man, even though he was a man with flesh and blood? Sin. The sin that was in man, he didn't have in him. The sin that was in man, he didn't have in him. And he don't get this. Watch this. If you if you a copy of something, you're not the original of it. And in the likeness of is not the exact of. All I'm asking you to do is read. I'm in Hebrews. I'm in Hebrews. I'm I'm gonna go to what you say. But when I, when I get to debunking this, you have to give me the same freedom I'm giving you. So I'm in Hebrews right now. I'm here right now. After you read it, I got one question, and then you can respond. Come on with it. Okay, Hebrews 2.17 says, Wherefore in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. So how were we made? We made through sex. That's how we born, through sex. So how was he made? Through the virgin birth, through the Holy Spirit. No, you just don't understand what it's saying. Likeness of is not is. Likeness is not is. When the Bible say, let us make man in our own image and likeness, are you saying you are you saying you possess the, the natural nature of God? Is that what you said? Because you made it in the likeness of him. No, 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 no. I'm gonna use your same word against you. If the Bible say we made in the likeness and image of Almighty God. Do you have the power and natural nature of Almighty God? You said, do I have the power and nature of the Almighty God? 
you, the Bible, you using the word likeness to be exact. Well, the Bible say we made in a likeness an image of God. Do that mean you possess his natural nature and power? Answer the question. Yes or no? What's taking so long? You the likeness of him? And if, if Jesus had the same nature as us, which was sinful, then the sacrifice is not acceptable. Because in Leviticus chapter 1, the sacrifice has to be without blemish. And what you are saying, that Jesus had a corrupted flesh, which makes it uh, 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 unacceptable before God. So it's not even accepted for the sacrifice. Come on now. If what Christ was without blemish, that's what Romans 8 chapter... So how did he have a corrupted flesh then? If he without blemish, how did he have a corrupted flesh? Flesh is not corrupt unless you transgress the law. That's what sin is. If you see that, see, see. First, he said. Now he just said Christ was without blemish. Well, if Christ was without blemish, how did he have a corrupted flesh? Then he say the 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 flesh is only corrupted when you break the law. Well, Jesus never broke the law. See how he contradicted himself. You see how that hurt him. Once that heat got on him, he couldn't get out of it. You see how he can't get around, around how I'm just breaking him down, just picking apart what he's saying and how he manipulates scripture. But since I know scripture, I know what they're saying and I'm not letting him bend them. I'm not letting him bend them. I'm letting him uh, uh, see the reality of what they really saying and not twisting it to fit his argument of what he believes or what he believes because it don't. See how he just went back on his word? Now he's saying Christ didn't have a corrupted flesh. Now he's saying Christ was without blemish. Okay, so why are we debating it? Because the reason why we're here, because you said he had a corrupted body, that he had a body of sin. Anyway, he died horribly. You don't transgress the law. Your flesh is not corrupt. So Christ's flesh was never corrupted because he didn't transgress the law. So why would you say it then? So why would you say he had a sinful flesh? That's how we got here. You know this recording, right? You do know this recording. See what I'm saying? See that? Anyway, Thursday won't be no different. In fact, it's going to be worth this time because I get to talk without them interrupting and I ain't got to rush. I ain't got to worry about them cutting in on me. And Captain Tazariak will die once again a horrible death. Him and his co host, whoever he is, and whoever else in that studio. I want y'all to be watching. I want y'all to tune in. It's going down, man. The word of God continue to go forth to be defended, to save the souls of the lost man, bringing people into the flock of Jesus Christ, man. Glory to God, man. It's going down. Don't want to miss it. It's heating up, man. Let's get it cracking. And it's your boy, Battle Truth. Ain't my job when that's a question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth.